Hello and welcome back to the Codeshop channel. For companies that handle products with expiration dates, proper tracking is essential. Without the right functionality, managing this process can be overwhelming. Fortunately, Auto Inventory app provides powerful tools that give you a complete solution for tracking expiration dates on loads and serial numbers, setting up alerts, and defining removal times. In this video, we will explore how to configure and effectively use the expiration date feature in Auto 17. So let's get started. First, we need to enable the expiration dates feature. To do this, open the inventory application, go to configuration, settings, scroll down to the traceability section, and activate loads and serial numbers. Once enabled, you will see an option to activate expiration dates. Check this box as well and click Save. Now that expiration dates are enabled, let's configure them for individual products. To do this, go to Products, Products, and select the item you want to edit. On the product form, make sure the product type is set to Storable. Then under the Inventory tab, scroll down to the Traceability section and select either by unique serial number or by loads. Tracking by load is important because it makes it easier to manage products that are stored in large quantities. By load, each product can be traced back to a specific load, if necessary. Once tracking is enabled, check the expiration date box. This will bring up four fields to configure. Expiration date, this is the most important field, because the other dates are calculated based on its value. If the date is set to zero, it defaults to the current date. For the glue stick, we set this to 100 dates after receipt, which means that both we and our customers have 100 dates before the product expires. But in this case, let's say it expires today. Best before date indicates when the product starts to deteriorate. We'll set it to 10 days before the expiration date. So if the glue stick expires in 100 dates, it is the best to use it within 90 days of receiving it. Next, we have the removal date field. This marks when the product should be removed from stock before the expiration date. And finally, the alert date. This triggers notifications for specific loads and serial numbers. When activated, it creates an activity in the chatter that notifies the responsible user to take action. Once you've filled in all the required information, don't forget to click Save. Now let me show you how to manage expiration dates during the receipt process. So I'm going to go to the Purchasing module and create a new RFQ. From here we will select the vendor and add our pre-configured product. I will change the quantity to 10 and confirm the quote. Next, click the Receive Smart button to be taken to the warehouse receipt form. Click Invalidate before assigning a serial number or load to the ordered product quantities causes a user error pop-up to appear. The RFQ cannot be validated without an assigned load or serial number. We can set them directly from this additional menu. In this pop-up, we can assign a load or serial number under the corresponding field. An expiration date is automatically populated based on the configuration on the product form. But we can actually manually change it directly on this form if we need to. After the expiration date has been established, we can mark the done quantities. Let's say we receive 5 expired units in this load. And another load has 5 units with a valid expiration date. Ok, let's hit save over here and validate this receipt. Now let me show you what happens when we try to sell the expired products to the customer, even though we don't know that they are expired. To do this, we'll go into the sales app and create a new RFQ. We will select the customer and add 10 units of glue sticks. After we confirm this, if we go ahead and validate the delivery, we will get a confirmation pop-up that we are going to deliver the product glue stick that is expired. 
If you click confirm and deliver an expired product to the customer, it could lead to some issues and negative feedback. To avoid this, we can simply click proceed except for the expired one. Now all we have to do is replenish the remaining required quantity of the products with the valid expiration date and deliver them to the customer. And that's it for today. I hope the management of expiration dates in Odoo is now clearer for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.